Do you have any idea of why I brought you here today? Something to do with my Switch. Do I owe you money? You actually have told me nothing. Guessing it's about Nintendo? No, not at all, dude. Not a single idea? No, oh, not remotely. Is there anything which you feel like you've been dismissing or been left alone for a while? Uh, my taxes? <laughs> Are you talking about Animal Crossing? Yes, I'm talking about Animal Crossing. We're going to be visiting your island just to see how oh, no. sad and depressing what? it is. Am I about to take you on a tour? Yes. Oh, no. And see what you can remember, your hopes and dreams, and how they've evaporated. You're just going to see all my animal friends, like, hate me. What is it in science? A control? Yeah, you're the control variable. Yeah. It's not going to be good, dude. I just want you to know that there's this big update that, like, kind of makes your town look like shit. This is so sad. Oh, you haven't played Animal Crossing in a bajillion years. Let's go test it out. It's like, of course, there's going to be updates. Welcome to Mads TV Crips. Was this your first Animal Crossing game? Yeah, it was my first one. It is actually like my completely first, unless you count the mobile game. I had no idea what Animal Crossing was before New Leaf. It was the one on the DS, so Wild World. My first one was Wild World. Then I had, I think it was just New Leaf then. That was it, yeah, I didn't have City Folk even though I had a Wii. By the time I got New Leaf, I really knew what I was doing. I did it so fast, I burnt out and then was like, I'm gonna restart and that is the biggest regret of my life. So with this town, I was like, I'm not going to restart no matter what I do. With the pandemic, and everything and everyone was like hey animal crossing is gonna get us through all of this i could use some getting through i guess i never really got a lot of interest in animal crossing until like a lot of hype was around it and then i kind of learned about it more and i was like okay this actually looks really cool they have terraforming tools they have all these updates so i'm like okay good this game was made for someone like me do you know why you stopped playing because animal crossing is just not up to speed i'm not an animal crossing person i didn't know what to do i kind of just ran out of stuff to do and i felt like my imagination eventually became limited i think because i missed halloween and i was so excited for halloween generally and I was like damn it I missed that Oh, there's no point playing now. <laughs> Honestly, Joy-Con Drift kind of made me stop playing on my Switch. <laughs> I can't even open up Animal Crossing. I really don't know why I stopped, and that's the thing that's kind of annoying. I am a sinful little time traveler. By May or June, I got burnt out from it. I couldn't touch it. And then I didn't pick it up again until this past Christmas. I got the terraforming, and that was pretty much the end of the game. There's nothing else to do. I want to have a giant bridge that goes across the whole island, and then I was like, wait, they have to be over rivers and I, all the animals just kept on saying the same stuff all the time and i was just like you're you're kind of annoying <laughs> yeah like so with the island was it a shared one between you and tom yeah oh that's so fun the problem we had with the game was we worked with a few friends and we managed to get on the stalk market and get a lot of money very quickly and i think that ruined the experience for me a little bit yeah and i kind of had a lot of money and once you have a lot of money you're just like the goal part of the game just kind of goes away i guess i didn't like set goals for myself in the game and then i got distracted by other games i didn't ever really play the sims i was more of a mario boy are you not into life sims very much how is this a life sim i can't do anything with like anybody i can't like start a family or anything where's my digital gf i played bowser's fury that was a good game what, did you not know that they added a bunch of mario items recently what in bowser's fury when was the last time you played this game dude i haven't played it in like a year it might have been november or something i would say a year and a month ago probably like not even a month after release i actually did do something in february by may or june i got burnt out from it i couldn't touch it and i didn't pick it up again until this past christmas i went back to my island like three months ago on a stream but since then nothing and before then it was like half a year my animals in animal crossing are dead <laughs> do you remember the name of your island you island it was fiji jr it was big nut baby <laughs> it was called uh taco town not a single taco related item in my town <laughs> Your island's name is Skimble? Yes, after Skimble Shanks, the railway cat. Can you guess what my town is called? Um, it's Pokemon related. Oh, it's Pokemon related. Is it is like a region of Pokemon? Uh-huh. Is it Sinnoh? Uh-uh. It's called Hoenn? Yes. Nice? Okay, cool. <laughs> Wait, sorry. I just saw your island name and I see that it's called Gamerland. <laughs> 
<laughs> what I the forgot fuck? I named it that. Do you remember any of your villagers' names? Oh, uh... No, I do not. I remember a moose. I didn't even remember the villagers' names when I was playing the game, Mads. It was more of just like, oh, pink alligator and the horse. I remember there's a chicken or something named Goose. That's like the <laughs> only one because I thought that was stupid. There's Walker. Walker's my favorite. Oh, uh, Sylvia, Poncho, uh, Static. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Octavian, I've got Marina. I've got Cats. That's a bear and I can't remember what his name is. But he's <laughs> one of the grouchy ones. I thought I left my island in pretty good condition. Yeah, but it's been a year of no upkeep. You're gonna fly over now, aren't you? So on my island, it is right now, it is 5.30 p.m. December 31st. And because flying over an animal crossing is unnecessarily long, Let's take an ad break. By any chance, are you an artist who wants free equipment and money to pursue your passion? Like, you can lock yourself a position in the industry and get backed by some of the biggest companies in the digital world. Also, there's a chance to win a free drawing display worth 250 George Washingtons. You might be an artist who lacks funds, equipment, training, and might message companies and creators in hopes of support of this. And XP Pen saw this happening a lot and thought of a solution. The Art Star Program, a grant project offering different kinds of funding to CG hobbyists, professionals, and studios around the world. Now, CG or computer graphics is a pretty general term for digital art, so this program can't possibly be for any type of digital artist. It is! It is! actually fun fact 3d 2d it doesn't matter what sort of visual artist you are you can take advantage of this all you need to do is submit any artwork from your portfolio no theme required and your dream plan which they provide a template for and you're good to go and once you've applied for the program and been approved they hook you up with free equipment free courses, professional software, the green paper. They'll even help promote you and get your name out there. The program team, along with partners like ArtStation, Moho, and up for likes across the globe, created this program to help those who want to achieve their CG dreams. And companies in the digital art industry kind of need artists to exist, so it's kind of a win-win. And to sweeten the deal, XP Pen are also letting me give away an Artist 12 Pro display or five tablets in case you want to start a studio. To enter, all you need to do is subscribe to the ArtStar program official YouTube channel, subscribe to me, comment art star on this video and finally apply for this program and tell them that I sent you. Anyone can apply for this even if you're just doing digital art for a hobby. So if this sounds good to you make sure to check out the link in the description to find out more and apply today. Thanks again to XP Pen for sponsoring this video and I hope they can help you guys out. Why are you a weak clown? I don't Because you're not funny? I guess. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, it's lovely because it's at night. Doesn't look abandoned. I see one weed. My island's just naturally weed resistant. Oh, I see you waving. Oh, this, is, this looks beautiful, Darren. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Wait, I'm, I'm, I'm driving past. Wait, it's for 31st of December? It's New Year's. Hey. Hello. What's the... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Big Nut. Dude, it is raining it. down. Yeah, it's so gloomy. This is the closest thing I have to like a fancy outfit. <laughs> Oh, wonderful. Is that how you're feeling right now? See this island? Yeah. I feel like I'm, I'm pretty excited. This is my town flag. What the f- <laughs> <laughs> It's a blank canvas. You make it however way you want. Anyway, do you want to give us a tour? Yeah, yeah. So, um, this is a house for someone, I'm assuming. Yeah. Flowers got out of control real quick. So the island, I want things to make sense. I want it to be like a fisherman island because I just like fishing. Uh, this is like the boardwalk type area. Look at my shitty pavement work. Here's the snapping turtle that will greet you when you enter. Do you have a name? <laughs> Could be Luigi. I forgot about a lot of things, but I do remember that his name is Steve. Say hello to Steve. You gotta like kind of have to pat his head if you want good luck for the day. Uh, it's Goose! Hey Goose! Give him a speak. Vitamin B! How'd your octuple marathon go? <laughs> uh, there's, a, there's a little gym over here. We got all the shops down here. We got this bench where we could sit on. Oh, uh, wonderful. Oh, I can't, I can't get on the bench. Yeah, it's only for me sorry you need the special jack big nut pass oh actually i think i stole some of these from your town that's kind of up i didn't know about that i didn't know about that either i'm just joking wait what what were we talking about why do you mean forever so small so you can jump across them easily duh <laughs> why but the you, you built a bridge easy? right here yeah but then sometimes i don't have time to walk all the way up to the bridge oh my this god dude something. you didn't even place the things <laughs> out for everyone no this is something i was planning to build this is something else i was planning to build wait is this it's... one of those missions where it's a deployment place down these three items? Yeah, and I never took it away. Oh my god, Billy. What? They said they wanted it. You want me to just take away their stuff? Sure. Look at this. Stumpus. This is the Stumpus stump. It's the legend of Stumpus. You see, a long time ago, I like hit it big with the turnip market. People yep. came to my island and they I played the pan flute for them on a stump and they gave me money. Uh, <laughs> Did you have any goals for your island? Uh, goals? No. <laughs> <laughs> 
I started thinking about making a beach bar. Ooh, and then, this is and fun. Then I and then I didn't. What I did for Valentine's Day is I made an escape room. I made clues. I did a little scavenger hunt because GIF has never done an escape room before. And so I was like, oh, this will be a good Valentine's. Part of the last little bit of the puzzle mm -hmm. was a dodo code, basically. I didn't do the whole escape room on Animal Crossing. Oh, that's part of it. Yeah, yeah. The, the idea for this was like, oh, you got to go up this path to get to the town. And then you got this little town. Oh, yeah, there's that guy. Yeah, he's kind of a jerk. Oh, you want to see my bear collection? This was a goal of mine. Collect all the bears. Oh my fucking god. This is satanic. I hate this shit. <laughs> Originally, this area was going to be like an outside cinema. And then Tom was like, yeah, but we have to have a gym. And I was like, well, all right, make your mind up. So that it was going to be on the other side of the island. And then I didn't get around to it. So oh lots my. of ideas here. So for the escape room, my girlfriend had to look for a key mm -hmm. the entire time. And the for the entire escape room, what I did is I taped the key inside my sternum. Sternum is like the part of the chest that I'm missing, you know, between the nipples. Yeah, I'm gonna show you the secret island's pride and joy. If you go mm -hmm. up and you gotta-, you gotta Jump across? And jump over here. Yeah. Whoa! Yeah, prepare to have your mind <laughs> What is blown. this? Don't, don't look this at that picture. Crazy. Don't look at that picture. Just run past, run past. Oh, oh, what is this? This is exactly what it looks like. Is he dead? What? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not dead. It's it's a shrine to Reggie. It's my Reggie shrine. I love His it. His career at Nintendo's dead. It lives on within us. Yeah, a little purple flower because he feels like a purple Pikmin, you know? This is wonderful. It's my island's pride and joy. My decorations. A wheelchair. A fireplace, a lavatory, and a bin. You know what? This yep. is, can I sit in here? I don't think so. Ah! He's just been turning up each weekend expecting someone to turn up. No like, one's oh. here. How do you feel about abandoning your island? Aside from... Oh. Ooh. Ooh. I don't care. I wish I had my $60 back. The left side's the best side. The right side, it's... <laughs> I just kind of gave up on it. I was like, I don't know what to do with this space. I'm just gonna... Not. With you getting back into the game in January or, or like New Year's time, uh, was that for any particular reason? It was just about time. Like I had finally felt better after not playing it for a long time. And then I was like, well, it's Christmas. There's like Christmas items and holiday stuff. Oh, there's a little spiritual table over here. Oh my. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I like, I'm like a pentagram. Yeah, it's got some incense, it's got a candle, oh, it's got wonderful. two candles. And there's a goat as well. Would you be willing to sacrifice <laughs> Zell he's, for the table? Yeah, he's a bit, bit up himself. <laughs> Super. I don't think we should disturb him. I, I, I feel kind of rude. <gasps> Wait, you're talking to him right now? Yeah. He's still sleeping. Him. Oh no, you're waking him up. No. Oh, he's quite happy. Okay. Maybe if I woke him up, he'd be kind of terrified. The island's shaped like a guy doing the stanky leg. Wait. His head's way up there. He's got his two arms. <laughs> He's doing a stanky leg, man. You have some pretty cool villages. Did any of them leave? Can no, they, they don't leave it? unless you speak to them. Oh, so it's like they don't even have a mind of their own. Yo, look at like he's going to war. Yeah, like, he has like scars on his face. He's cool. I love the deep voices. Yeah, they sound sick. Yo, yeah, he's cool. That's my guy, man. He's been through a lot. I tried to cook him twice. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? How do you think your villagers feel about you, like, leaving this island for a year? They have all the fruits and all the water they can drink. They're human beings. Tammy. I have a life outside of this island. Yeah, but do they? Do they, James? She's crying. She's like, where did you go? <laughs> what, who's to say they're stuck there? Why can't they just, like, Wreck-It Ralph go into other video games? I don't enjoy doing magic tricks like I used to, and coconut cream pie doesn't even taste sweet anymore. Yeah, I haven't seen you in forever. It's been, like, 11 months. How could you just disappear without telling me anything? Anywho, I'm glad you're back. We're going to hang out lots, okay? No, you're not. This is the only time you're going to see Billy. Literally the only time. I kind of run this place, right? But I kind of don't care about anybody here. Okay, I remember the last thing I did, actually. What was that? It was, um the horse's birthday and then i showed up mm -hmm. and then i was like oh i should get him a present and then um i turned off the game and then didn't do anything so <laughs> wait did you get him a present no i didn't <laughs> i meant to i just didn't get a chance as you can see there's an explosion of flowers we've got an mm -hmm. infestation of flowers <laughs> so this oh is there's a wheelchair it seems there was a wheelchair <laughs> Tom, tom's put a wheelchair there, but it's behind a wall i don't know if that's very accessible at all it's it's kind of the opposite of accessible <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, Princess Peach outfits? Put them on for the show, Darren. I was trading clothes with, with my girlfriend. I think I just left them here. <laughs> I just be dripping by accident. Yo, my house is pretty lit. I don't remember having that nice of a door. My house kind of looks like a hoarder house. Oh, it's Walker. Yo, he's walking up. I'm still the same old me. I know for sure because I wrote my name on all my underwear. <laughs> I want to see what my default outfit is. 
So we're coming up to my house and I have a, a Godzilla statue guarding my place. Oh, is this your house? Yeah, I think so, because there's the mailbox, right? Here's my house. Ooh. And then the quick, like, side yard. It seems like there's a fire going on with the flowers. Not safe. Should we put this out? Oh, no, I, I traveled on your flowers. No. Don't you know I look at these every day? I want to see what your interior design looks like. I was about to redo my house. You're going to be sad at this. <laughs> Bro, it was literally a roach. Uh... Are those roaches? What the f- <laughs> Oh, my God. What a hollow shell. Well, I'm just checking what's in my inventory right now. And for some reason, I just have maracas. I don't know when I got <laughs> these, but I have maracas with me at all times. The sparkling cider. What? When did they add that? This thing's kind of cool. Yeah. Oh shit, I'm stuck. Over here, I think it's my bathroom. Oh, whoa. Welcome What's to the, the bathroom. What's with the floor? Cause you, you want to feel like you're on a cloud when you're taking a shit. Is this all from this one humidifier? All right, so this bathroom, Ooh. I admit, I found majority of it on Pinterest and copied it. <laughs> oh no, I can't move it. <laughs> I think that room's gonna be off limits then, Amy. It's fine. Oh uh, no. Do you remember what's on that side? No. <laughs> The, the books were because I was trying to build a library and I was like, I've run out of storage for the books. So mm -hmm. let's just put them on the ground because I intend to craft it soon. And then I just forgot. This is a room. This is where I do bench presses. Oh my <laughs> What is going on here? You're going to be wowed by this room. <laughs> <laughs> this is fantastic. Um, well, it's a clean slate. So you, know, you have a bit of a leak going on here. Yeah, but then we got a little pool. This is my server with my high-speed internet. Um, <laughs> this is your gigawatt internet <laughs> speed. <laughs> this is you so Bitcoin. This is you mining for <laughs> mining for Dogecoin. <laughs> oh, you have coffee for me? Thanks so much. Probably all moldy. How did you uh, make most of your money? Was it from stonks? In the beginning, it was anything. I was desperate. I just sold the fossils. <gasps> I just cared to get my house done. So I was like, I need more space i need more space i need these rooms i need this I need that. whoa you just go in my fridge no oh, shit sorry my bad this is like the yeah like kind of cozy kind of antique kind of grandma chic you just want to live as a grandma in animal crossing i do i, I just want to be a grandma already I'm so <laughs> oh i saw a fucking roach no you didn't you didn't see shit but you have a race car man yeah. <laughs> I'm an adult. It is supposed to be the office. Yeah, and we had, yeah, we had like a little business meeting here once or twice, which was quite fun. Did you know there's a snail right here? I didn't notice that. I feel bad for neglecting him for over a year. <laughs> if I was at this stage, I would really want to start picking up the game more. This is my my pad. What would you rate it out of 10, be honest? Dude, I'd say it's a, it's a solid seven and a half. Uh, I think you should give it another rating. All right, fine, understand. you're right, fucking four. You. How would you rate your island out of 10? Oh, definitely uh, one out of 10. It's shit. This is Tom's house. Oh my God. He, this is like, this reminds me of Shrek. When we're like, my part of a swamp. I'll, I'm going to tell him later that you compared him to Shrek. Here's Luigi's house. Oh. He's got a green roof. Of course he does. Oh, oh of course he has his hat above his bed. Yeah, I feel like this is a place where Luigi would be like, all right, yeah, don't bother me. Are any emotions perking up from you being here or no? I don't know. Did you not have a good time playing this game? I don't know. I just felt like it was... All right. Whoa, wait, did you just get up there? How yeah, did you do that? I have a ladder. Wait, what? Did you not unlock a ladder? No, I don't. I guess you can borrow <laughs> mine. There you go. Oh, cool. It doesn't let me pick it up though. Oh, never mind then. Yeah, we'll oh, go. what is this collection of shrimp? Why is there a uh, a knife on, on a cutting board? What's oh, going on here? Don't worry about it. Oh, oh, okay. Come over here, Billy. You have a design right here. It's behind the tree. <laughs> it is behind a tree. Why did I just put it here? What are we doing? Would there be anything to bring you back into this game? I'm gonna be honest, they have yet to come up with anything that'll keep me playing. A creative mode. I don't know, I don't see the appeal of this game. <laughs> it's just a, it's a collect-a-thon <laughs> without any of the challenge. It's just like, oh, let's go fishing for two hours. I also never, dude, in all the times I played, I never caught one of those big fish. That was, an, I was just like, what am I doing wrong? Because <laughs> I'm not catching the big fish. I don't even know like what you can do in this game. So I feel like if I name something, it's probably Probably something you can do. Everyone was so hyped about it, so I was like, I'll get a copy, and then mm -hmm. I'm like, this is it. I would have liked a bit more diversity with the villagers. They would say the same thing every single day. I was thinking, oh yeah, creative mode, but then I was like, well, if you can just do whatever, then what would even be the point of playing? Because you just have all the items, you wouldn't have to save up for any money. It's asking you a lot about what you do, and it's like, I'm coming here because I want to escape my life. Yeah. <laughs> How are 
you doing? I'm a little disappointed because there's a lot of things that all of the games have had. I, I watched this compilation of all the Animal Crossing trailers. You're like, wow, look at all this stuff. And then when it gets to New Horizons, it's like, wait, where is everything? It's like, uh, I'm not a fan, especially when a game like this, you can't just do the bare minimum. I think that's what it was. It just wasn't enough to grab me still. It's a good starting place if you've never played the game before. But for those of us who already know and have been playing for so long, we're like, that's not an update. That seems to be my biggest problem with the game is that they revamped certain features where it doesn't require characters anymore. Yeah. And that takes away a lot. Is there anything from older games which you really miss? Stores. I wish like the Roost Cafe would come back. I really wanted like a cafe, like with Brewster mm -hmm. or whatever. Cause like putting that like somewhere up here would have totally been cool. Cause like, I love the idea of like, oh, let's go up to the cafe, like up in the mountains. And we'll stare out at the sunset and sip on our coffee like that kind of stuff oh, that's nice i wish they had that because i was kind of waiting for that i was like okay i want there to be like another thing that i could put in another spot because i think that's mm -hmm. why i didn't finish it i was like i need like a place for this thing because i kind of ran out of things for places or <laughs> i don't know no yeah i get you something i really missed from new leaf was um being able to go to the islands where you play mini games yeah because obviously you can make you know, your own obstacle courses and stuff. But that was just like so fun that it was there and ready to do. I think my main problem was that I got too much money too quick. I could have managed to decorate the rooms better. You know, when you gradually increase them in size, as opposed to suddenly having a mansion and being like, what do I do with all this space? Can you check how many hours you have on this game? I think I, I think I put like a hundred hours into it. 15 hours, bro. I have 210. But you also gotta bear in mind that the majority of the hours spent in this game was just waiting. How do you feel that this is the second highest selling Switch game? It is? Yeah. How is that possible? How have you felt going down this memory lane? A mix of pride and sorrow. I do love the game because it is a really like peaceful retreat, especially like with the, the stress of every day and you know, you don't have to worry about anything. So I think after having this chat, I'm going to pick it back up again. Oh, cool. I kind of thought like, oh, I'll be playing this game forever. So this game's just supposed to like make people, I guess. Feel good. Feel good. Oh, I don't feel bad that often, so I, I don't really need it. <laughs> I guess that's fair. You know, you know, Billy, I guess that's fair. I guess that's fair. <laughs> Uh, do you have any final thoughts which you want to show? I should probably wish Kat a happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> happy New Year's. Let's, let's hope that 2021 is as good as 2020, am I right? Probably hundreds and thousands of hours of developer time into this game, and I played it for 10 minutes. <laughs> Thank you, Mads. Thank you for letting me see this island, which you will probably never touch again. Nope. <laughs>